Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I decided to start a little NFL series on my channel. Every week I'm going to do a different team. As you can see, this week it's going to be the Broncos. It's my home state, so I figured might as well kick it off with Bronco themed. We play on Sunday, September the 13th, so I thought I'd do this little look for everyone who's a Broncos fan who's not and just wants to see kind of what I have in store for the rest of the season. I'm Every week that the Broncos play a team, I'm going to do the opposite team. And then throughout the season, I'm going to end up doing three Broncos looks all together in the middle of the season. And then at the end of the season, I'm going to do a third one. And hopefully they're all going to be different. Um, I'm not sure where I was going with this look, but I kind of like it. How I kind of like how it turned out. And so I kind of came up with this. Um, so yeah, that's just a little background info um, what I'm going to do with my channel in the near future. And if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep on watching. And so to begin, we're going to use MAC Prep and Prime, and that's just going to go all over the face. I honestly love this one the best. I haven't used anything else, and I feel like a little of this goes a long way because this little mini sampler has lasted me like forever. I can't express that enough. That's just how great it is and how it goes a long way. And next we're going to use Maybelline's BB Cream. I've been using this a lot lately instead of using a full coverage foundation. I like the coverage of this. I like the way it makes my skin look and it's very blendable. And so I've been really grabbing this a lot. Plus on game day you are probably going to be sweating if you're screaming and getting mad at the TV or if you're at a game. You're not going to want like heavy coverage is going to just slip off your face. So this is super cheap, got it at the drugstore, um, and a little of this at the same time goes a long way, and I really do um, like this, so I have been recommending it to a lot of people. Next, we are going to take Maybelline's Instant Age Rewind, and that's just going to go underneath the eye area. It really does help with dark circles, and I feel even without makeup, I don't have as bad dark circles as I used to. And so I'm just going to apply this, and I'm going to blend it out with a beauty blender. And it makes, really does make the eye area look better. Like, I can't express that enough. You all need this in your life, for sure. After we blend this out nice and well in our crevices, we're going to take Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette, and I think the shade is Banana, and we're just going to set that. And I'm not sure why I did it in this order, because right after I do my Naked Concealer, which, like I said, I don't know why I did it in this order. It was so random, I know, but for some reason, that's just kind of how it worked out. So next, we're going to take the Naked Concealer, and we're going to set that underneath the eyes. Um, I'm just going to kind of use it as a highlighter, and also put in any of my troublesome areas, because this makes it look like I have none, and it's phenomenal. I just have to say that I'm sorry that my lighting is kind of orange. Um, I'm using my vanity lights. I'm waiting for my new ring light that I ordered, so for now, the coloring is just going to be kind of weird, and I had to kind of color correct, which... I don't usually do and I don't like doing because I don't I don't know it just bothers me but for now it's kind of what's going on um, I'm going to use an elf brush to blend this out and make sure that it's nicely blended during the making of this video my brush kind of broke so it's kind of a good thing that I ordered like three more of these because that's how obsessed I am with them and then next we're gonna set it all with studio fix powder and I'm just using another e.l.f. Cosmetics brush. Um, this is the complexion brush that I am blending it out with. After this, we are going to move on to the eyebrows, but I'm just showing a little clip because it sometimes takes me a little while. I will post the video down below that I did my, I showed, I did the eyebrows in that video, so I'll post that down below, but here's just a little clip of what I do. I use NYX brow pencil, and then I fill it in with a BH Cosmetics Brow Trio. After the eyebrows, I'm going to check them, which I always put my glasses on afterwards because I'm pretty much blind, so that's kind of how I see if they're all right for the day. And I'm going to use Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue, and I'm going to use that as my primer. I heard that it's just a glue, so it's just for glitter and it's not supposed to be used as a primer, but I like it. I think it holds my eyeshadows out throughout the day really well, so I'm just going to keep using it that way. 
Now for the fun part, we're going to take Shimma Shimma from Makeup Geek Cosmetics, and that's going to be our highlighter, and it's just going to go underneath the brow on the brow bone, and it's really shimmery, so I like this shade the best for highlighting because it's just got that shimmer in it, you know. We are using uh, e.l.f. Cosmetics um, blending brush that I just bought, and honestly, I love it, and I think I'm going to buy more of these because that's how fantastic they are. Next, we are going to take um, Peach Smoothie from Makeup Beat Cosmetics as well, and this is just going to go below the highlight, a little bit above the crease, and just blend those two colors in. It's a very pretty orangey color, and that's why in the beginning you didn't see much orange, because orange and blue to me are so difficult to blend together, and usually they turn out like green or a super ugly color. So... This is why. So because I placed the orange where I did, I'm going to take High Wire uh, Foiled Eyeshadow from Makeup Geek. And that's going to go in the crease because I didn't want the blue and orange blending and making a horrible, ugly color. Sometimes when I do Broncos looks, I do blend them together, but it depends on like the blue and the orange I use because they can turn, like I said, pretty ugly. So this is why I did it this way. Um, it's kind of like... I guess for beginners or however you want to put it it's super simple and it just kind of blended out a little bit better so again high wire is going into the crease and we're just gonna make sure that it's blended out very well after we have that blended out nicely we're gonna take our max fix plus and we're gonna spray it on a makeup brush and grab center stage from makeup geek cosmetics another foiled eyeshadow which I'm super obsessed with and we are just going to pack that on the lid. This color comes out super intense when it's sprayed with this. And it just takes a little while to blend. So, you know, just keep on blending until you have it. Because when I was doing this, it took a little while to blend out that blue and make sure it looked good. So just keep on doing it until it's nice and smooth and not so harsh. And the edges aren't super harsh um, like the video shows so just you know blend 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 after the step I do go back in with high wire and I adjust it a little bit which I'm not showing because that was like a really long process and pretty much you can just do however much blue or silver or orange that you want like this look is pretty much versatile and you can do whatever you please like it's not set in stone on how to do it after you get the blending that you like and um, you're happy with everything, I'm going to use Cottage Cheese from NYX Cosmetics, and that's going to be our inner highlight on our eye, which I love, and it's such a silly name, but whatever, it works. After you put the cottage cheese in your eyeballs, near your eyeballs, we're going to take Anastasia Beverly Hills Gel Liner, which I love um, so much. I haven't tried anything of her liner before until recently and it's so smooth and so easy to work with it's it's seriously worth the money I I don't know how else to express um, how obsessed I am with it and I got like the perfect wing when I did this I sped up this process a lot because no one wants to see me I'm pretty sure no one wants to see me do eyeliner for like five minutes because that's usually how long it takes me we are also going to apply liner to the bottom lash line and um, Applied, you're gonna take a makeup brush any brush really I use pretty much anything for this process but then you're gonna smudge it and I usually use whatever is handy closest to me or even a brush I've used some because if I'm just gonna smudge it it doesn't really matter you know to me if there's like other color into it because sometimes that is pretty for mascara I got this new one from NYX cosmetics and it's a pinup one I kind of expected a little more out of it, like for my lashes to be like super epic, and I mean they came out pretty good, just not as like much as I was hoping, but a still great mascara, you know, super cheap, you can get it at the drugstore, so that's always a plus when you can get a good mascara at the drugstore. Um, so yeah, that's just what I'm using for the um, eyelashes. And during this process, usually like once a week, I'll stab myself in the eyeball, and it just happened to happen when I was recording. So, yes. I don't show all of it because I accidentally stabbed myself in the eyeball and that was like tragic for a good five minutes. 
Next to contour, I'm going to use Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. Um, this is just the powder one. I have been using the cream, but today I just felt like the powder was best. And I'm going to use a Real Techniques um, angled brush. I think it's the contour one. Not 100% on that, but I'm just going to use that to contour the face. After contouring a little bit, I'm going to take um, a Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer. And the one I used is Ticket to Brazil. And honestly, I absolutely love this. This was the first time I was using it, but I feel like it's so easy to blend and so easy to work with. Like, I just, I don't know. Like, I haven't used anything I love this much before. And I came out of my comfort zone and opened up one of my bronzers that I've just been laying in my drawer. And I'm honestly so glad that I did. It's worth every penny. And you should all have it. Like, not even kidding. Definitely. You need it in your life. Seriously. Um, in this tutorial, I don't use bl blush. <laughs> Sorry, stuttered on my own words. I don't use any blush because I just didn't feel like this look needed it and I was going along with something else and I decided to have like the black marks underneath the eyes like football players do because it is opening day. It is, you know, quote unquote game day. Might as well like go all out for that and for that I used just regular eyeliner. The eyeliner I used for this, which was a little bit more thick and not as thin as Anastasia's, was my Maybelline gel liner and it worked perfectly and honestly it lasted like a good couple of hours so it'll definitely last you during a game. And then I just put glitter on top of that to make it a little bit more girly and to go along with the look kind of showed it in the clip, but if you couldn't tell, I'm using um, Too Faced Shadow and Turns Glitter Glue for this part um, because the glitter really does stick and it didn't seem to mess up the eyeliner on the face. After the glitter is looking good on your little black marks under your eye, which I was told I put them in the wrong spot, but whatever, it's makeup, who cares, put them wherever you want, that's how I feel. We are going to use Jeffree Star Cosmetics Blue velvet as the lipstick because I think it's a perfect blue for Broncos especially since that's what I was aiming for here. After you got your blue lips and it looks like you made out with a smurf we're gonna have to set all of our face with a setting spray and I'm using Urban Decay's All Nighter Setting Spray which I love and I feel like I shouldn't I don't know I just don't use anything else ever and that pretty much concludes this look and I appreciate you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video.